one of our really good friends got diagnosed with cancer again and she was only 32 and it developed pretty quickly really. My wife Alison was diagnosed with uh, cancer. She seemed perfectly well, well she was perfectly well, she didn't feel ill at all. Just told that it was terminal and then let's say about four months, five months and then she was no longer with us. Had a ultrasound scan and uh, it was pretty clear from that that there was something pretty serious going on. It is hard when you first walk in. You're thinking it's going to be an old people's home and you think, you know, you, your emotions are all over and as soon as you walk through that door, there's a friendly smiley face. The staff, we're all giggling and we're all having a bit of a laugh and it was fun. They understand what's happening, they deal with this constantly and they know what emotions you're going through. We had just brilliant support uh, and Alison died at home, so we've we never used the hospice, but the the support in the community was was really, really good. As much as your family and your friends love you and the people around you want to support you, it's very rare that any of those people actually have the medical expertise to deal with your symptoms. The one thing of being in a hospice, particularly for the use of the patient, is that you're removing that stress from your family of them having to medically care for you. As part of the community, we work alongside um, district nurses and GPs caring for our patients at home and we're in a very privileged position to get to know people and their families at home during a very difficult time. We can refer into our day therapy unit where people can come for one day a week and enjoy various services, their complementary therapies, access to the physio and the OT um, and just have time to share and chat and have time away from home. We're able to go out and see patients um, seven days a week and we're now also able to access occupational therapy and physio. Wheatfields is an amazing place. I didn't realise how amazing it was before Gemma. I didn't. I knew what it was but now I am so thankful that as a city and as a community we have places like this. And we need to make everybody in Leeds and Yorkshire and the rest of the country realise how important this place is. The bereavement service is obviously a crucial part of what we can offer here at Wheatfields. It means that we're involved very intensely with somebody before they die, but we can offer that support ongoingly for families and carers afterwards. I don't think any of us look back and and kind of wish it was, had been, the, the journey had been different. Wish the outcome had been different, but, but that's just the way it is.